Okay. Now we're going to draw the, the next circle over at the same radius, at the same position, and the same diameter. So repeat circle right there, and type in uh, three over eight. Three slash eight, and uh, hit enter. So both circles are equally spaced uh, from the uh, 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 ends and have the same uh, diameter. But we need to uh, cut the little piece here in the middle here. So what we do, we're going we're going to the, cut out the bottom part. If this would, if this were a complete circle, it would be come on around here. What we did was trim out the bottom part of the circle here. All right. So we're gonna. Let me see where am I at? Where am I in relation to the front? That's the back. There's the front there. So I'm going to trim out the bottom, the bottom part or the top part of the circle here. I'm going to draw a line as a cutting line. Click on line and draw a line directly through the circles. All right. There. So now I'll go back and <clears throat> go back to trim. Remember trim up here, up up the top. Go up, go find trim, and we're going to trim out the uh, the the top of that circle. Okay. So we're going to get rid of this part here, that part there, this part here, and that part there. That's all I got left. So I'm going to finish my sketch now. Every time you, every time you draw something, you have to finish your sketch. So go up here where it says finish sketch. Right there. You can click on that. And you get uh, tilt your object up this way like this. So we finished our sketches, equal space circles. We we've uh, tilted like this right there, and now we go we'll go up here to the upper left corner and click on extrude, and we're going to extrude those half circles downward through the uh, object through the whistle. Let's see, at a distance of two and a half inches. Okay, you can type in the distance, or you can just estimate it. But the idea is to see if you can do this. So we're going to go to extrude up there and click on extrude. After you click on this through, you can come back and click those half circles. All right. When I'm extruding uh, a rectangle here for some reason, let me see what I do. Let me go back. Let me go back here and see what I did. When I did it. That 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 those those lines right there. I need to delete those lines right there because it, the program thinks I'm putting in surfaces there. Okay, so I delete those lines. I delete those lines there. The program thought that I was uh, creating a surface there with those vertical lines. So I took those vertical lines out. I'm going to go back and extrude the, uh, the, uh, the bottom part of those circles there, which will be the top part up that top. Okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to do it, let me see, let me extrude here, uh, trim, trim here, if I can trim out that, yeah, trim out that, and trim out this, and then go to finish sketch again, and see if I can extrude this part right here, and then this part right there, like that. See, this is, this is about playing around with this program here. When you draw a line, it may create a surface. So you need to know where you are. Okay? So let me see here. Extrude again. 
It's your, oh boy. Rewind, rewind, go back. Okay. Let me draw a sketch. Draw a line from here to there. Draw a line from here to there. Okay, let me go to uh, trim again. Let me trim out this part there. That's correct. Trim out that part there. That's correct. And go finish sketch. Okay, and then go to extrude and see what's going on here. I don't want to extrude the whole. Guys, something's not happening right. I need to take a pause here and see what's going on with this. I'm extruding the wrong surface.